Hey, Candy here. I figured that since I'm on a trip, part of it for business and part of it for personal, that it was a good time to talk about keeping track of the miles driven for business purposes. And of course, this is Drake here, my sidekick. He has to be right by me whenever we're driving. But let's get back to keeping track of your miles you drove for business. The biggest thing is the records need to be kept written down, whether it be in an app or whether it be the good old pen and pencil way where you write down your beginning ob odometer reading at the beginning of your trip, the ending odometer reading at the end of your trip, you date it and you write the reason and you figure out your miles and you do that for a year and voila, you have all the miles you drove for that year. There's apps out there that you can put on your phone that make it really easily. Um, I know QuickBooks, I believe QuickBooks Mobile has a way, easy way to keep track of the miles you drove as well. Uh, I use an app called ACAR and I love it because I can keep track of all my gas fill-ups, repairs, oil changes, insurance, registration, anything. And then at the end of the year or every month I can print out a report and it gives me all the expenses that I've paid on my car for that year and it's good for you to keep track of your actual expenses as well as the miles you drove because some year it's better to take the actual expenses versus the standard mileage rate so it's good to just keep both a record of both and just remember the most important thing is it needs to be written down somehow a copy of your bank statement with gas fill-ups isn't going to cut it the IRS will disallow that and throw it out and you don't want that so if you have any questions about keeping track of the miles you drive for business please feel free to reach out to me and you have a happy day bye